Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my series review. And today we're going to go over the entire Ratchet and Clank series. All right, first of all, let me tell you how much I love the Ratchet and Clank series. The comedy for me is absolutely on point. I, I, I can't get enough of it. And the somewhat sick, twisted nature of how you dispatch your enemies, it just gets me. Um, you know, if, if the bad guys weren't there to get in your way, then they wouldn't have to suffer the way that they do. Uh, and, and Tip of the hat to uh, Brandon uh, over at Unnecessary Rambling for mentioning things like dismemberment and stuff like that. This is definitely more comedic than that, but I love it. And it just, I can't, hap I can't help but cackle every single time I see an enemy transform into a sheep. Or Mr. Zircon comes out and just starts blowing things away. It is an absolute joy. But we do have to get to the rest of the video. Ratchet and Clank was released in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Definitely received positive reviews from critics upon its release. The game features a mix of platforming, action, and puzzle-solving gameplay and it was praised for its polished and varied levels, colorful, detailed visuals, and engaging storyline. The characters Ratchet and Clank themselves are also commended for their well-designed look, distinct personalities, and strong chemistry. The game is also praised for its inventive weapons and upgrade systems, which allowed players to purchase and upgrade various gadgets and weapons throughout the game. Many reviewers note that the game has a high level of polish and that it is wor a worthy successor to other popular platformers such as Super Mario Bros. and Crash Bandicoot. Overall, Ratchet & Clank is a well-reviewed game that was considered a must-have for fans of the platformer genre. Ratchet & Clank Going Commando is the second game in the Ratchet & Clank series which was released on the PlayStation 2 in 2003. It's a direct sequel to the first game, Ratchet & Clank. Going Commando builds upon the foundation of the first game and introduces many new features and improvements. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gameplay mechanics. The graphics and animation were also improved, giving the game a more polished and detailed look. One of the major features in Going Commando is the ability to upgrade and customize weapons, which allows players to make their weapons more powerful and effective. The game also introduces a new feature called Gadgetron PDA, which allows players to access a variety of new gadgets and tools. The game's storyline also received positive reviews. Critics praise the storyline for its humor, clever writing, and well-crafted characters. The game's voice acting was also praised for its high quality and humor. Overall, Going Commando was well received by critics and fans alike, and it was considered a worthy successor to the first game. It was praised for its improved gameplay, upgraded graphics, and engaging story and characters. Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal is the third game in the Ratchet & Clank series which was released on the PlayStation 2 in 2004. The direct sequel to the second game, Ratchet & Clank Going Commando. Up Your Arsenal builds upon the foundation of the previous games and introduces many new features and improvements. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, new gameplay mechanics, and new multiplayer mode. The graphics and animations were also improved, giving the game even more polished and detailed look. 
One of the major features in Up Your Arsenal is the introduction of online multiplayer, which allows the player to play against each other in a variety of games such as Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and more. The game also introduces the new VidComics mode, which is a 2D side-scrolling platformer that allows players to unlock new weapons, skins, and other rewards. The game's storyline and characters also receive positive reviews. Critics praise the storyline for its humor, clever writing, and well-crafted characters. Overall, Up Your Arsenal was well-received by critics and fans alike, and it was considered one of the best games in the series. Ratchet & Clank Deadlock, also known as Ratchet Gladiator in Europe, is the fourth game in the Ratchet & Clank series which was released on the PlayStation 2 in 2005. It is also a direct sequel to Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal. In Deadlocked, Ratchet is kidnapped and forced to participate in a deadly game show called Dread Zone, where he must fight to survive and escape. The game features a new emphasis on combat, with players able to control up to three characters at once, including Ratchet, Clank, and a new robotic character named Al. The game also introduces new weapons and gadgets, as well as enemies and bosses. The game's storyline and characters also received positive reviews. Overall, Deadlocked was well received by critics and fans alike, and it's considered a solid addition to the Ratchet and Clank series. Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction is the first game in the Ratchet and Clank series for the PlayStation 3, which was released in 2007. It is a direct sequel to Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked. Tools of Destruction features improved graphics and animation thanks to the power of the PlayStation 3. It also introduces gameplay mechanics such as the ability to switch between different weapons on the fly and new traversal options. The game also introduces new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets. Storyline is also more epic and cinematic, with a focus on the character Ratchet and his origin. The game's storyline and characters also receive positive reviews. Critics praise the storyline for its humor, clever writing, and well-crafted characters. The game's visuals were also widely praised for its level of detail and being a showcase of the PS3's capabilities. Overall, Tools of Destruction was considered a great addition to the Ratchet & Clank series. Ratchet & Clank Quest for Booty is a standalone, downloadable game in the Ratchet & Clank series, which was released for the PlayStation 3 in 2008. It is a direct sequel to Ratchet & Clank Tools of Destruction. Quest for Booty features similar gameplay to the previous games in the series, with a focus on platforming, action, and puzzle solving. The game is smaller in scope compared to the other games in the series, but it still features new weapons, new enemies, and new puzzles. The game's storyline is also more focused, with a smaller cast of characters and a shorter length. Overall, Quest for Booty was well received by critics and fans alike, and is considered a solid addition to the Ratchet & Clank series is praised for its engaging story and characters and for its solid platforming gameplay. However, some reviewers criticize the game for its shorter length and being more of an expansion than a full game. Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4, a 2016 video game developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The game is a reimagining of and retelling of the original Ratchet and Clank game that was released on the PlayStation 2 in 2002. The game features updated graphics and animations, as well as new gameplay mechanics and features. The game's storyline and character also received positive reviews. Critics praise the storyline for humor, clever writing, and well-crafted characters. The game's voice acting was also highly praised for its quality and humor. The new storyline was also praised for providing a fresh take on the original game.
The game also features new weapons, new planets, new enemies. The game's visuals were widely praised for being a showcase for the PlayStation 4's capabilities. The game also features new card-based we weapon upgrade system, which allows players to upgrade and customize their weapons in new ways. Overall, Ra the Ratchet and Clank game on the PlayStation 4 was well received by critics and fans alike, and considered a great addition to the Ratchet and Clank series. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters is a 2007 video game developed by High Impact Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation Portable and PlayStation 2. It's the fifth game in the Ratchet & Clank series. Size Matters features similar gameplay to the previous games in the series, with a focus on platforming, action, and puzzle solving. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets. The graphics and animation were also improved, giving the game more polished and detailed look. The game also includes a multiplayer mode, allowing players to play against each other in a variety of gameplay modes, such as Deathmatch, After the Flag, and more. All of these things we've grown to love as fans of the series. The game's storyline and characters also receive positive reviews, as always. Critics praise the storyline for its humor and clever writing, and the well-crafted characters. The game's voice acting was also praised for its high quality and humor. Like I said, we always get this with the Ratchet and Clank series. The new multiplayer mode was also praised for adding new in-depth variety to the gameplay. Overall, Size Matters is a well-crafted experience and deserves its place amongst the Ratchet and Clank series. Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time is the seventh game in the Ratchet and Clank series, which was released for the PlayStation 3 in 2009. It is a direct sequel to Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty. The Kraken Time builds upon the foundation of the previous games and introduces many new features and improvements. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets, new gameplay mechanics, and the new time manipulation mechanic, which allows players to manipulate time to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. The graphics and animation were also improved, giving the game a more polished and detailed look as always. The new time manipulation mechanic is highly praised for adding new depth and variety to the gameplay. Overall, A Crack in Time was well received by critics and fans alike, and was considered one of the best games in the series at the time. It was praised for its improved gameplay and upgraded graphics, engaging stories and characters, and the introduction of a new gameplay mechanic. Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus is the last game in the future series of the Ratchet and Clank series, which was released for the PlayStation 3 in 2013. It is a direct sequel to Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time. Into the Nexus features similar gameplay to the previous games in the series, with a focus on platforming, action, and puzzle solving. It also introduces new gameplay mechanics, such as the use of gravity-based weapons and the ability to switch gravity. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets. The new gravity-based mechanic was highly praised, adding new depth and variety to the gameplay, as well as the excitement of the unknown. Overall, Into the Nexus is well received by critics and fans alike, and is considered a very solid addition to the Ratchet & Clank series. It was highly praised for its improved gameplay, upgraded graphics, engaging story and characters, and the introduction of a new gameplay mechanic, which players always seem to love. Some reviewers criticized the game for its short length and lack of replay value, but that is up to you. Secret Agent Clank is a 2008 video game developed by High Impact Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation Portable and the PlayStation 2. This is the sixth game in the Ratchet & Clank series, 
but it features Clank as the main playable character. In Secret Agent Clank, Clank is falsely accused of stealing a valuable artifact and, and is sent to a high security prison. Player controls Clank as he must prove his innocence by solving puzzles and completing stealth based missions. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets. The game's new stealth based gameplay mechanics were highly praised for adding new depth and variety to the gameplay and thus vastly diverting from the standard gameplay. Overall, Secret Agent Clank was well received by critics and fans alike. It was an exciting new path for players to experience. Some reviewers criticized the game for its lack of replay value and for being similar to the previous games in the series. Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault is a 2012 video game developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. This is the 12th game in the Ratchet and Clank series, and it features a different gameplay style from the previous game. Full Frontal Assault is a tower defense game where players must defend their base from waves of enemies while also completing objectives and gathering resources. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gadgets. That's right, folks, everything is new. The game's tower defense gameplay was a new direction for the series and was met with mixed reviews. Some reviewers criticized the game for its lack of replay value for being too different from the previous games in the series. Overall, I believe Full Frontal Assault is a fairly fun game, and although it does have mixed reviews, I would consider playing it. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is the latest game in the Ratchet & Clank series, which was released for the PlayStation 5 on June 11, 2021. It was developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Rift Apart builds upon the foundation of the previous games and introduces many new features and improvements. The game features new planets, new enemies, new weapons, and new gameplay mechanics that take full advantage of the power of the PlayStation 5. The graphics and animation are absolutely stunning. One of the major new features in Rift Apart is the dimension hopping mechanic, allowing players to traverse seamlessly between different dimensions and worlds. Each dimension has its own unique environment, enemies, and challenges. The game also introduces a new character, Rivet, a Lombax from another dimension who joins Ratchet on his adventure. The game's storyline and characters definitely received positive reviews. Critics, as always, praised the storyline for its humor and clever writing and well-crafted characters. The game's voice acting was also praised for its high quality and humor. The new dimension hopping mechanic also received wonderful reviews and was widely praised for its level of detail and being a showcase of the PlayStation 5's capabilities. Overall, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart was well received by critics and fans alike and is considered one of the best games in the series at this time. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.